This strawberry cheesecake allows you to have the best of three worlds in one dessert. And if you think that this cookie looks good, just wait until you see the rest of it. No expense was spared in the making of these brownies. You may not be able to see it, but each one of them has a sizable block of chocolate underneath. Did you like that? Well, I should let you know that I'm doing this in conjunction with my LCIF challenge. So here's a little disclaimer. To make this LCIF challenge more meaningful, I would be launching a complimentary series alongside with it. It's called PSN Feature, where we would give a spotlight to those deserving food businesses that started during the quarantine. Every week, I will be ordering delicious, carb-rich foods from them for the duration of this challenge. I hope you know where I'm going with this, but as you all know, I am allowed to have a cheat day if and only if I can achieve my end of week weight goals. If I do, then I can enjoy these foods without any restrictions. Otherwise, I'll have the rest of my household review the food for me. I came up with this to support home-based businesses so that our economy could continue with little to no physical contact. This eco-friendly bag contains five items. Three of them are mainstays on the Yellow Table Kitchen's menu, and you actually saw them in the pictures earlier. On the other hand, the remaining two are freebies. Now, before you comment hashtag privilege or hashtag connections, allow me to give a bit more context. These are prototype recipes, meaning Wella is on the process of perfecting them as we speak. She sent me samples so I could give her feedback in private and buy the actual product once the recipe is finalized. For this video, I'll show you how the work in progress looks like. As for the logistics, delivery, and all that, it's virtually the same, so you can refer to our lasagna video for more details. Starting with the freebies, we have the blueberry muffin. At first glance, that glaze on top looks like chocolate to me, but upon a closer inspection, it turns out that it's actually blueberry sauce. Like I said, it's just a prototype, so it wouldn't really be fair to give it a review in terms of taste at this point, but I do want to give you a side profile just so you could see it in its full glory. As for the other freebie, we have this red velvet cupcake. This thing was made for the camera. When I first saw the preview photos, I thought it was so photogenic, or in this scenario, videogenic, if that's even a term. I know it's just a work in progress, but I think many would agree if I say that on the visual test, this is a 10 out of 10. So here's a side profile just to show you the rest of it. Absolutely gorgeous. Moving on to one of the mainstays in the menu, we have the strawberry cheesecake. It comes in a gorgeous rose gold colored tin can, and it has the branding as usual. And as you can see, it's best served chilled, and you know me, I can't stop myself. I just had to take this close-up shot of that adorable wooden spoon. When I opened it, I noticed that the strawberries um, collected on one side of the tin can because it was tossed and turned over during its way to me, but I don't mind because look at this. Does it really look like something to complain about? Like seriously, this is perfection. Not to mention a good sight to see before you hear what I'm about to say. I was worried that the cheesecake would melt during the taste test with all the lights that it's exposed to. So I decided to film next to my air conditioning unit, forgetting that I don't have a soundproof setup yet, and this is what happened. Okay, so I'm now tasting the strawberry cheesecake. I only figured this out after I'm done filming the entire thing and was reviewing the footage, so you could imagine how pissed I was. Obviously. I can't repeat the taste test because by then all the reactions would sound scripted. So I did the next best thing of inserting the subtitle to each sentence, which is not the best experience to say the least. But you know, I'd rather go through all of that hard work than upload some less than genuine review for you guys. So you could expect all of my commentaries to look like a silence movie that was made in 2020. What a learning experience.
The second mainstay in the menu is the chocolate chip cookies. A minimal correction, this is also a freebie. I only ordered the cheesecake and the brownies, but Wella sent this to me because my order got delayed because of the gloomy weather. A circumstance that she's not really in control of, but she's sweet enough to do something like this. Anyway, you saw a pool of chocolate, this one right here, earlier. Now, allow me to show you, in a very unstable manner, the rest of this cookie, this thick cookie. Alright, now for a brownies. It comes in a very simple box with this very beautiful flower um, lining which I really like. So let me give you a close-up shot of that. Now to open this up, the box lifts off pretty easily. And as you can see, these are gorgeous. I tried lifting one up. It's so dense and the fudgy parts are sticking to each other. That's why you need to be a little bit strategic in doing this. But anyway, it's off. So here it is in all its glory. Feast your eyes on this masterpiece.
Now we rank the three mainstays. The Yellow Table Kitchen social media accounts will be in the description so you can check them out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.